Oi, oi, you're with Evan from the West Ham Way, and I'm joined by former Har Hammer, Darren Blewett. How are we doing today? Very well, mate, very well. Buzzing. Buzzing, Buzzing. I bet you are. I hear that you're going to get 10 minutes today. What does that mean to you after all these years to come back and go through them doors that you've been talking about this morning? On a serious note, it means the world. It really does. I mean, knowing Mark for years, being there, of course. I've gone through the turnstiles many a time since then, but through them doors, it's been a while. But on a joke side, 10 minutes is more than enough for me. Um, you'll see the state of me on when I put my shirt on, but now I'm buzzing to be here. I am honestly buzzing. I'm, I'm over the moon. I'm, I'm thankful for Mark to be honest with you. But don't tell him that. <laughs> well, he watches our videos nowadays, so I'm sure he'll see for oh, himself. <laughs> um, so, you, you came to West Ham's Academy, but yeah. first off, you started off at Norwich's Academy, right? Yeah, I was there, it was only about a year. Um, we had a brilliant team, brilliant team. Uh, Mitchell Cole was there as well, who's also come here, yeah. who sadly passed away, but he was come to West Ham with me. I broke up after a year, and I was spotted by West Ham. Most of the London teams were looking at me at that, that time. But I was only 10 or 11, you don't know. But as soon as West Ham come up, living around a corner, it was a no-brainer. Um, yeah, and that's how it started, to be honest with you. Okay, so do you want to talk about who else came through the academy when you came to West Ham? Any any big names come through with you? Or? Well, my age group, um, to be honest, when I, when I come to West Ham and when I went on to pick up, get my pro contract, I was the only one out of my year that got a pro. Huh. Uh, and the year below was Mark, Chris Cohen, year above was Anton and Elliot. Um, so, obviously, I know them guys. But we sort of all played together because the youth team, we'd, we'd step up, Mark and Chris would step up. Or I thought, so we knew, I sort of played it, but my age group, I was the only one. OK, um, so you were the only one to get the contract in your age group. What were the sort of terms of that contract? I bet you were, uh, you were buzzing at the time, right? Unbelievable. I mean, you go from uh, 16, 17, and then your youth team money, which is peanuts, to be honest with you, of course, but you're playing football, so it's all good. But, yeah, I mean, my first contract, I, got, I think it was a two-and-a-half-year deal in the end. Um, it was like... I don't mind talking about it. It was like 500 quid a week, yeah. which is from that to that, it was a lot of money. Big step. And, and then, obviously, every year it progressed on from then. It was like 100 quid more. And, but the bonuses, I mean, when I was on the bench here at South End, oh, it, was, it was something like, <laughs> when, I, when I went to bank balance, being from around here, you don't get that sort of money. And it was, it was, it was different. It was lovely. It was good. It was oh, that's, that's fantastic. As you mentioned, the South, South End, you were on the bench. You were yeah. sat with Mark Noble. Yep. How, yep. How, how was the match day experience being in the, the first team squad and, you know, being with the... Everyone on that day? Unbelievable. I, I, I mean, I, walk, I was talking to Miles on the way here. I walked from my house with my football bag on, with my tracksuit, and I sucked it, I took it all in. Because being a bit, I think I was 18, I took it all in. I, I couldn't believe it. I, I, mean, I was walking to the game, all the past people think, I'm going to be on that bench then. And just took everything in. Being from the area, it, it meant everything. Something so, special, isn't it? It was unbelievable. And then when I ran out to the, I nearly ran back in. It, it was one of them, but it, it, to take all that in, it's an experience I'll never forget because it be, it's, it's being a fan. I genuinely was a fan and I still am, and it, it, I couldn't, I couldn't, I could never replace that. That buzz, uh, mate. I think that sort of sums it up, really, doesn't it? You were sat with Mark Noble. He was lucky enough to get on in that yeah, game. Yeah. Was there any point that you thought this guy's going to be a club legend, or? Well, everyone knew about Mark when he was younger, anyway. To be honest, um, and I, I know you won't mind me saying he's, he didn't have the pace. Where Chris was the same age, and Chris, to be honest, was. The sort of guy I thought he's going to kick on, and although I knew Mark would make it, and I knew to do what he's done, I, I can be honest to say I never thought he'd, he'd achieve what he has achieved. I mean, I'm buzzing for him. I, I genuinely am buzzing for him. I think that's exactly what today's about, isn't it? The whole the whole day dedicated it's, to him and deservedly. It re oh, definitely. I mean, was 12 years now, yeah. um, but been here since school days, school school days, and it's I, I'm I'm jealous in a way, but buzzing for him. Really am. I really am. I'm buzzing for it. Okay. Well, you were part of the squad that sort of got promoted and then yeah. got to the FA Cup final 2006. Yeah. What was the sort of buzz around the place at that time? Everyone trying to get me get them tickets. <laughs> I had a list as long as your arm. It was a joke. Um, but no, no, no. It was, it was, it was. As you expect. I mean, the whole build up. I was involved. I was training with the first team with the cameras and everyone was there and I was always involved in it. So I got the suit, the suited up. Which don't fit me sadly no more. <laughs> um, but no, it, it, it's, it was just a buzz. I mean, and the way we lost, I went to the game. I could have got, they asked me to go with them to travel the team. <laughs> and I sort of knew I was on my way out, so I went with my mates instead. <laughs> and sat in the crowd and took all that in, which was still another buzz. But sitting behind that goal when Gerard hit that ball, I, I'm still having nightmares about it. And every time I see him, I'm sick. So, but so you see Gerard? Gerard? Yeah, I can't stand him. No, no, no. He's a, uh, no, 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 no. He's top man, but he's top top player. But no, it was. I couldn't. 
I never that it's just being involved in it all. You you can't take that in unless you being a fan is different. I know both sides. Being a fan is different to being involved in it. But, but not many do know most both no, sides. And I'm lucky. I know obviously didn't quite get to where I wanted to get, but I've done enough to say that was brilliant. That was good. I'll never forget that. And going to home and away games. I mean, I went travel with the first team to Crew, for example. Small ground when we was in the championship, and you do the warm up. And I remember doing what you do, run to one end, and it, the, the, the fans are on top of you at Crew, and the fans are this close. So I run out and going. Here's me, mate. There's, there's Mark. There's, and you just think it's, it's unbelievable. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. Oh, that's fantastic. So, of the players that you played with, who sort of stood out in training? Who trained better or harder? Or well, sort of when, I was a, you? when I was a young kid, 15, 16, I think I was roughly at the time, and I, tra- I got trained with the first team then. I, I, I went on to train with them. And Paolo, I'll never forget Paolo Cano doing stuff. When the training finished, he was doing little doggy runs, keeping himself ticking over. And he was, he wasn't a young guy then, but. He, he looked after himself unbelievably, and I remember looking at. I should have took it on a bit more, but but um, yeah, I mean, in, but then obviously Joe Cole was an exception. Um, but there's young boys as well. When I was kind of, and we had people like Hogan Ephraim. I remember him yeah. coming through. Oh, what a player he was! Such skills and stuff like that. Don't he'll, he'll love that, by the way. <laughs> but um, no, but it's just it's the, the team. Then you knew the team. Trevor Sinclair was there, Carrick, and then it went on to people like. James Collins and come through and then they got themselves promoted. There was brilliant players there. Marlon Harewood, mm-hmm. he, he was never the most skillful player, and, but he'd done so well at West Ham. You going to tell him that today? No, he's massive. He's inside of him. He's inside of him. Bobby Zamora again. He's a, le- he's a, he's a legend anyway. On, on the other side of that, is there anyone that you thought didn't try hard enough or maybe not overrated, but you know? Uh, he's trying to get me the first thing. Yeah. Now, oh, to be honest with you, it's, uh, there was some that come in. I mean, I remember... I don't mind saying it. it was people like I think oh, what's his name Clive, Clive Clark and people like that come in but to be honest with you it was when I was with the first time I was 17, 18 years old and I was I was kicking on and I was playing reserves regularly I was captain I was doing really well and it didn't matter if I played well or not I, I was getting the first in training but I never get pushed on and it was people at the time who were don't get me wrong Christian Daly brilliant professional done well at West Ham but then it was people like Andy Melville uh, Malky Mackay was there and I was never quick but I was I was quicker than them, and I was playing well in the first. And I'd play reserve team football with them, and I'd be the better player. And I, I genuinely would. And it just, it didn't sort of get that. I didn't sort of get that recognition because it's people who were at the club at the time, i.e. the management staff, didn't give me that chance. They give me a little bit, and I'm grateful for that, but not enough. Well, th- this is what I was j- just about to, to pick up on. You got some rave reviews in the reserves. You know, yeah. a lot of people was, watching you, giving yeah. you, you know, saying you're playing really well. Yeah. Why do you think? Was it a management thing that it well, didn't? To be, obviously, I. Had a li- no, I don't want to quit reputation, but I did have a little reputation. I was, I was getting booked, I was getting sent off. But that was when I was younger. I was, I was Kevin Keane was managed. Kevin Keane coming. I wanted to mention Kevin Keane. He was an absolute legend with me. Uh, looked after me for the youth team and then reserves. And he got in my head to say, look, he had Julian Dix. He played with Julian Dix, and he compared me. Don't get me wrong, I'm not an because he's my idol, legend. <laughs> but he, he'd say I had, I had a good left foot. Uh, I was good on the ball as well as defending. But and it just sort of, yeah, he went. It just didn't really work out. I mean, I went through the first team and the Paj was manager at the time, didn't fancy me. Yeah. And the list of centre halves at the time was unbelievable. So I was never going to get a chance, but it depends, even if I did play well. So, which is a bit harsh, but that's the name of the game, isn't it? Yeah. And if you're not liked, I mean, Peter Grant was the assistant manager at the time, didn't, couldn't stand me. Really? Could, could not stand me. Any particular reason? It just, it, 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 I wouldn't say picked on the younger boys, but. but it, Obviously, they, I think they want you to do well, which I understand, but a lot of pressure. I yeah, I mean, I'll do a little tackle. Whoa, 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 get in. I got sent in three or four times in training and stuff like that, and you think it's a bit harsh. But, I mean, that's the way they, they fans. They had good professionals there, don't get me wrong, and their team got promoted, so what can I say? And I wanted West Ham to do well, of course. But I think I could have got my chance um, maybe a, a little bit earlier, and, but you never know, dear. Well, I've been told some of the younger boys in your day were sort of infamous around the uh, the Essex area and the nightclub right. scene. And I heard you might have a couple of funny stories for us. Uh, well, <laughs> obviously we went out. We were lads. We went lads. We were lads. We went out. Um, and it, sadly, it's sad to say now, but it was time and envy back in the day. Yeah, People yeah. No, a little bit of faces, but um, I sort of tailed on to the older boys then. But uh, yeah, it was time and envy. We, we we got in a few bothers. It was always a little a little grime room which Miles were like um, same as that Miles same as that <laughs> and, and we'd bounce around in there and get a bit get chucked out and stuff like that but I was young I, don't, don't forget I was 18 I weren't a, I weren't a fully fledged professional I was a professional don't get me wrong but if I got chucked out no one know I was so it wouldn't matter <laughs> uh, it didn't matter 
But no, no, no. It, it, things happen. But it was just, it was a laugh. It was all fun. Okay, that's Not what I do like. That's why when I see kids now, like, who, who, 18, 19, who are getting in trouble, you can't take it. You can't give it to them too much because they're learning. They're learning. And that's that's another thing I wanted to, to talk to you about. What sort of advice could you give to the academy players now? Uh, pick the cones up. Pick the bibs up. Um, Wash the boots. Yes, sir. No, sir. Three bags full, sir. No, no, no. It's <laughs> no, it's uh, you just, just keep your. It's the same old stuff. Keep your head down. I mean, a lot of people I know who are similar ability, who are less ability than me, have gone on to play league football regularly. So it can happen. Just stick to it. And you, if your face fits, it does help. But you've got to have. You, of course, you've got to have the ability, and mm -hmm. you got you've got to be dedicated. You have, to, especially nowadays. I mean, especially now, you have to be dedicated. There, there's no two ways about it. There's no going out, nothing something like that. But yeah, that's no what's bouncing what's around in the grime room. No, no bouncing around the grime. No, 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 none of that, none of that. Which I still do. <laughs> but I'm 30 now, so it hurts a bit more the next day. But yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Um, just another another point about the academy. Yeah. Why do you think there hasn't been as much sort of top talent coming through? Uh, I mean, there, obviously there was. West Ham's known for it. Yeah. Uh, a lot of them seem to get to that 18, 19, 20 year old. And then they go alone yeah. and they sort of disappear. To be honest, I couldn't give you a straight answer, but it's one thing where, don't forget the game's changing, the money coming into the game now, they go out and buy players, and the club's being run brilliantly now, so you can't really knock them for who they're bringing in. Yeah. The people they are bringing in are uh, Lanzini, what's that, how old is he, 22? Yeah, so yeah. We ain't got a 20, 20, 20 year old, 19 year old at West Ham as good as him. So I always spotted him, but it's things like that, but I don't know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like to put my finger on it, but. I hope they do because it's known for it. West Ham are known for bringing people through. It is, it's known. So hopefully it does get better. I'm sure it is. I mean, people work hard there. I know. Well, I mean, there. you see people like Reece Oxford. There's a lot of hype around him. He's still really young. Really, really young. I mean, what's he? Was he 17? Yeah. yeah, 17 years old. Started I mean, 16 this year. And the thing that made me laugh it was when uh, Arsenal, come, uh, Arsenal were linked with him. As a fly, and you think, no, 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 just sit tight, boy. You'll get your chance. You will. You, you'll get your chance. And he has. It's like, all right, he's been dragged out again. But that's what he needs. When it, Slavin's the man for that anyway. He knows what he's doing. So. Um, I'm sure Rhys Oxford will be, a t will be a Premier League player for West Ham in the next few years, hopefully. Yeah. I, I completely agree. Player. He's, he's a top player. Top player. F final note from you, Darren. What can you expect from us for the rest of the season? What do you want to see happen to West Ham this year? I want us to win the FA Cup. Yeah. I, gen I want us to win it, and I think we will. All right? You've heard from me, so that means <laughs> it's going to happen. No, but um, obviously Man United coming down here, we'll beat them. We'll, 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 uh, the way we are, where we're playing now, where, where he's got them set up, it's, it's, it's different now. He's, it really is different, it, isn't it? It's just complete, just changed the way. I mean, oh, Big Sam last year. I mean, I ain't going to go into it. I went to loads of games and was playing, playing people. And it, you could see it was just the fans weren't happy. And all right, done well getting us up, but that was it. But Sarvan's come and changed the whole thing. And I think got to win the FA Cup. I think it's our chance to win the FA Cup and beat Evan because there's a few people on Twitter who are giving it. All right, and I've had <laughs> enough of it. All right. Um, he is a big old lump, by the way. I'm just pointing that out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and he's on tiptoes as well, you see. So, <laughs> no, um, FA Cup. I mean, the top, top Mark asked about top four in FA Cup. Yeah, yeah, I was just about to pick that. It's got to be the FA Cup because I think the club's progressing so well. We're getting the top four in the next couple few years. I genuinely think we're challenging. So, win the FA Cup, I'll be there and we'll be happy. Good, be good. man. Right, Darren, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you for coming to talk to us. No worries, mate. Come on, you irons. Come on. Mate, that was fantastic. Oh, really, Thank mate. you. No, mate, that was fantastic. That really was. Yeah.